Good afternoon. Afghan refugees are headed to New Mexico through Holloman Air Force Base near Alamogordo. Now, it's unclear how many people are coming or how long they'll stay. News 13's Chris McKee breaks down what we know about the process so far. Yeah, Holloman is among seven military bases that is now cleared to house as many as 50,000 Afghan refugees across all of those bases. As refugees arrive, federal officials say they will get medical screening, then work with resettlement groups to figure out where in the U.S. they might go. So we're prepared to house them and feed them as long as it takes to get them through the process and as long as the secretary uh, approves that. Um, I agree with you. They're coming here uh, starting over with what they bring with them. A senior White House official told New Mexico reporters today that the goal is not to keep refugees from staying on base for months at a time. But they were unable to say today how many refugees would be staying at Holloman or if anyone has even arrived yet. Before getting to Holloman or other bases in the U.S., security processes have been unfolding at U.S. bases pictured here in Europe and Asia. Biden administration officials say that all Afghan refugees are undergoing extensive security screening before being allowed in the U.S. Now, after that, some will fly to New Mexico. Military officials say this afternoon around 6,000 Afghans are already on bases inside the U.S. We're doing biographical and biometric testing across the various uh, agencies of the interagency to include our counterterrorism and intelligence communities. Uh, what we're seeing is uh, folks coming across cleared by that process, process uh, which I'm comfortable with. On the medical side of things, refugees will get multiple mandatory COVID tests and a medical screening. Of COVID cases so far, the military reports just three of 1,300 refugees at Fort McCoy have tested positive for COVID, and only one out of more than 1,200 tested positive at Fort Bliss. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, General Van Herc also said they are seeing about a 50 50 split in terms of men and women, and about 15% of the refugees are kids.